day everyone, I am Maya Tayat, one of the researchers of the study entitled World Sugar Cane and Cornstarch as Essential Components of Regenerative Plastics. First, prepare all the materials needed. Cornstarch Starch can be used to reduce the carbon footprint of traditional resins because they can replace petroleum-based polymers with natural ones. Metal tray. It will be used to hold produce product. A pot, where we will cook the mixture. Next is water. Talahib. It is one of the main ingredients of our product which will provide sugar for our bioplastic. Cling wrap, this will be used so that the product will easily be removed. Spatula or any metal spoon to be used as a stirrer. A bowl where we will put the talahib and water mixture. Vinegar, the acetic acid in vinegar helps the starch to dissolve easily. Glycerin, it is added to the starch as a plasticizer. Measuring spoon to measure the exact amount of the ingredients. And then food coloring to give color to our bioplastic. Once our materials are ready, put the talahib in a pot and then add 2 cups of water. Wait until it boils. While waiting for the mixture to boil, get the metal tray and cover it with cling wrap, then set it aside. Pour the talahib liquid into the bowl. In the pot, put 2 tablespoons of cornstarch. Eight tablespoon of water. Two teaspoons of vinegar. and 2 teaspoons of glycerin. Stir until combined. Next, turn the stove on and put the pot. The mixture should be stirred regularly to avoid clumping. It will be a milky color at first but will soon get thicker and turn slightly translucent. Once the mixture is easily scoopable, turn off the heat. Scoop and spread the mixture onto the ready-made metal tray with cling wrap. Wait at least 24 hours for the plastic to be completely dried. Finally, these are the products that we have done, and now we will test if they will melt in hot or warm water.